Okay, we're looking at greatest common factor, also known as GCF. Greatest common factor is a great clue for you as to what you're actually doing in this problem. You are writing the factors and you're finding the largest one that some numbers have in common. So again, you're listing all the factors and finding the greatest one that they have in common. That's your greatest common factor or your GCF. So the first one that we're going to look at is 18 and 27. I like to go in order. You know that I like everything nice and orderly. And I like to start with ones every time. And then I go to my twos, threes, fours, and so on. So I wrote down, I've got one times 18. Then I go to twos, two times nine. Then threes, three times six. I look at my fours and I don't have anything. Four times nothing equals 18. I go to my fives. Again, I have nothing. Go to six, and I've already got a six written down. So there I can stop because of my commutative property. I'm just going to keep going and I'm just going to get these exact same numbers. So I do the same for 27. One times 27, go to my twos. It's not an even number, so I move on. Look at three, three times nine. Fours, no, five, no, six, six times four is 24, six times five is 30, so no sixes, no sevens, there's not an eight, and I look at my nine. I've got nine times three, and I've already got it written down. So once I've listed the factors of each, I go through and circle the ones that they have in common. And then I want to find the largest number that they both have. So I'm taking a look at my very largest number. Let's look at another example of this. We're going to do 18, hmm, let's do 32 and 72. How about that? We'll do 32 and 72. And again, I want to start off with 1, 1 times 32. This is an even number, and you might have to go over to the side to figure out what it is, but it's an even number, so it's going to be divisible by 2. And I have 2 times 16. I go to my 3's. I use my 3's trick. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 is not divisible by 3, so neither is 32. I go to 4's, and I have 4 times 8. Nothing with my 5's. Nothing with 6, nothing with 7, and I've already got 8 written down. It is so very important with these that you know your multiplication facts like the back of your hand. 1 times 72. Again, it's an even number, so I know that it's got to be something. If you don't know, then come over to this side, do a little bit of scratch work, and we see that it's 36. So 2 times 36. Use your threes trick. Seven plus two is nine. Nine is divisible by three, so 72 is as well. Do some scratch work if you need to, and we're gonna see that it is three times 24. Let's look at four. I'm not sure about four, so I'm gonna do a little bit of scratch work on the side. and I get four times 18. We'll get fives, no for fives. I've got six times 12, no sevens, and I've got eight times nine. Go to my nines and I've already got it written down, so I can stop there. And I have ones in common, twos, fours, eights, and that's it. So my greatest common factor for this one is going to be 8. Greatest common factor is going to be 8. Let's look at another. Let's do 18 and 24. Again, start with 1. 1 times 18. Look at 2. 2 times 9. Threes fours, fives, and sixes. One times 24, two times 12, three times eight, 
four times six, no fives, and I've already got my sixes written down. So I circle the ones that I've got in common. And again, I want that very biggest number that they both have. And my greatest common factor will be six. What happens if I gave you one that has multiple things in it? Let's look at this. 12, 24, and 60. Sometimes we might have three numbers. That's okay. We're just going to continue on and do them just like we have. 2 times 6, go to my 3's and my 4's. 1's, 2's, 3's, 4's, no 5's, I've already got my 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no 7, no 8, no 9, and there's my 10. So now I've got to look at what all three of these have in common. They've all got 1's, 2's, 3's. They all have 4's, they all have 6's, and they've all got 12's. So my greatest common factor is 12.